by mixing her foundation with a white face paint. I wanted a slightly paler appearance for this look. I used a stippling brush and stippled the makeup on until it was nicely blended. I also took the makeup down her jawline and onto her neck as the design carried forward down there. Next, using a flat top brush and a white translucent powder, I set the entire face of foundation that I just applied. This is optional but I took a cream color in yellow and I applied a triangular shape starting from the top of her forehead all the way down to her nose. Then I also did the exact same thing using a green spring color in the same cream eyeshadow and extended that triangle a little bit further out along the sides of her forehead, making sure to blend the green into the yellow where they meet. Then I used different colored eyeshadows. I placed a yellow over the yellow cream shadow that I placed to set the cream color that I have there and then I took a green shadow and placed that next to the yellow basically the exact same way that I did the cream shadows being sure to blend in the colors where they met From this point, I start layering more shadow as I go further along the triangle in a darker color. So I started with a yellow, moved on to a spring green and here I'm using a medium tone green and once again blending the colors in where they meet. When I start getting closer to the outer edges, I switch to a smaller, more finely detailed brush and I apply the darkest color by lining the edge of that triangle and then pulling it up towards the rest of the color. You always want to do the blending um, back towards the rest of the color rather than away um, or in a circular motion. Using the same brush I use a little bit of black eyeshadow just to give the look a little bit more of a definition and some shading. Next I take cream shadow and I apply this using a very flat tipped fine detail brush. I start by tracing along the inner corner of the nose near the eye and create this shape. I extend that curved line all the way towards the temple and blend into the hairline. Once I'm done with that, I start back along the inner corner and draw a second line, essentially thickening uh, that first line, creating sort of a thicker layer. And then I go back in with a black cream shadow and I fill that big line in. Once more, be sure to blend it out softly into the hairline so that it's more of a feathered look rather than a harsh line.
as I'm working along, I make sure to set any of the cream shadow parts using a black matte eyeshadow and this is to prevent smudging as I continue to work on the rest of the design. Then all you do is using the black cream liner once more, I create another line underneath the eye like so. Again, blending into the temples at the hairline. When I'm through with that, I use a lime green cream shadow pencil. You can use any cream eyeshadow, a jumbo eye pencil or any sort of creamy product to achieve this. And I place that all over the entire eye area and then use a fluffy brush to softly blend that out. Using a small brush, I pick up a little bit of black matte shadow and I start along the inner corner and fade that color in. Next, I layer on a gradient of green eyeshadows as well as using a lighter color right down the center of the eye, just like so. I also take a little bit of black shadow on that small brush and blur out the line that we've had underneath the lash line. Next, using a liquid liner, I make a very sharp winged eyeliner and apply some big dramatic false eyelashes to her top lash line. While that's drying, I move on to her cheeks using a small fluffy brush. I use anything with a straight edge, here I'm using a book, and I take a medium green shadow and starting at a hairline, I create a very sharp contour line using that color. Taking up a very dark shade of green, I go along the edge of the bottom part only to create more of a depth to the contour and blend the two in where they meet. Next, using a very light shimmery yellow, I apply that just to the top to blend out the top. Taking the yellow cream eyeshadow that we used initially, I place that on her chin and line the outsides using that green eyeshadow as well. Once again blending where they meet in the middle. Going back to that small brush and the black eyeshadow, I also line the edges of this and blend it into the remaining shadow. Taking the same small brush, I create that line and extend it all the way down her neck as this is how far I want the design to go. Doing the exact same steps that I did above. I applied some lower lashes to her lower lash line, then took a piece of netted material and some dark green face paint and started stippling over with a small brush to create the scales of the snake. When you do this, you want to be sure you vary your pressure and your pattern because you, it should not look very uniformed. Then using the same net, I pick up a sparkly gold pigment and go just above where the yellow parts are to give a little bit of highlight. And then I continue down the neck using the exact same pattern. Using a red lip liner, I line her entire lips, filling them in. And then I point her cupid's bow so that it's very sharp and to a point. Mm -hmm. 
I took a dark current lip liner and applied it only to the edges of her lips and used a red lipstick to blend this into the red lip liner that she already had. With the aid of a lip brush, I made sure that the cupid's bow was extremely pointy. Next, using a red cream makeup, I went over a few of the scales which had completely dried at this point in time with some red dots just to tie in the red lips a little bit more. For the final touch, I traced over the inner curves of her eye using the exact same red cream makeup. This is the finished look. I hope you guys liked it and be sure to tag me if you try this look or you can hashtag Sarah Sukraj on Twitter with your pictures. Thank you so much for watching. Please hit the button to subscribe.